Hey everybody, how you doing? Chad Wesley Smith here for JTSStrength.com and Juggernaut Training Systems. Out here in Las Vegas training with Stan the Rhino Efferding. How you doing today, Stan? Good, good, thanks. So we just finished squatting. Stan uh, hit 855, so he's getting ready to squat in the cage at at the uh, the Arnold with me and Eric Lillibridge and Rand Lilly and Dan Green, a lot of Team Juggernaut guys in there. And then Super Training Meet March 24th up at uh, Mark Bell's spot. So, Stan, uh, yeah, what are, what are your goals? What are your goals for March 24th? Well, 23rd? my goal is to put up some numbers this time rather than, <laughs> than getting these delusions of grandeur that I'm going to open with a 2300. So, I'll probably start out uh, somewhere in the 855 range, maybe try and get in the high 880s and then go for that 903 again. That's, uh, that's kind of my map right now. And, uh, and you were telling me you, you squat every other week? Yeah, you know, as I've gotten older, it's been harder to recover. And I've just found that I've, I've stayed strong and healthy as long as I don't do too much. And so right now I squat heavy every other week, and that seems to be plenty to, to, to continue to grow on. I've actually gotten stronger as a result of the less volume. Hey, are you pulling on the weeks that you're not squatting? I'm going to pull on the opposite week heavy. Okay. Right? Yeah. Um, how do you feel like your bodybuilding background has, has helped your powerlifting? Well, I think the number one thing is that uh, in bodybuilding I've trained all the ancillary muscles, so I don't have any real weaknesses. Uh, utilizing all those various exercises that, that powerlifters don't traditionally use uh, has helped me, uh, I think, avoid a lot of injuries historically. Uh, and that's the biggest thing, is, is just that, uh, that I don't have any areas that are, that are lagging, that, that, you know, constant injuries like that. And uh, in, these last, in these last couple of years, as your powerlifting numbers have really risen, do you feel like you have like powerlifting mode and then bodybuilding mode, or are you kind of trying to keep one foot in both all the time? or? Yeah, well, I was competing in bodybuilding less, and I was trying to do uh, train heavy a little more, and obviously that that boded well for uh, for my powerlifting, especially over the course of this last year, because I haven't done any bodybuilding prep for uh, for a whole year now. I've been just focused on powerlifting. And and I, your goal for for March is twenty. 2300? I'd like to do a 2300. I think if I can get around a, an 881, 606, 815, that gets me there. And uh, anything, anything else is gravy. If I can get a little higher in the squat, then I, I can, I can uh, probably pull back a little on the dead. Because an 815 is pretty aggressive for me in a three lift meet. Mm -hmm. I've hit it in practice a few times, but that's only uh, you know, because I didn't squat first. And uh, what, what is the 275's record? Uh, currently 22.59. Okay. Is so you're the, only five pounds under that with no wraps, right? Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, this is going to be with wraps. 22.59 yeah. is with wraps. 21.71 yeah. was without, and I hit the 22.26 without. 22.26, so okay. yeah. I had squatted 8.54. That's John Cole's record for 1972. Or yeah, he's got a 308's record, too. Which yeah. is amazing. Yeah, yeah. And he only weighed 288 for that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, any, what advice do you have for lifters as they're getting older? You know, maybe adjustments they need to make to their training to stay healthy. Uh, you know, for me, it's it's just been training less, and I focus more on uh, injury prevention. I take a long time to warm up. I spent almost an hour today before I even was squatting the bar, mm -hmm. uh, doing band work and warming up and, and keeping my neoprenes on and, and just getting a sweat going. And uh, it, it takes quite a while to do the same thing with bench press. You know, I'll work the bar a few times, work some bands a few times, um, and then I, don't, I train less frequently. And uh, you know, since I've had since I had my hip injury, I've been working. I mentioned with Mark Philippi, former pro strongman and uh, uh, strength coach of uh, UNLV. Mm -hmm. And so I do some specific exercises just for uh, you know the muscles that uh, around the hip region, and do some band work and stuff, and a lot of core training with him once a week. So I only uh, squat or deadlift once a week, and then I'll bench once a week. And that's only heavy every other week. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the third day, I spend just doing uh, the kinds of exercises that I think help me stay healthy. Uh, flexibility exercises, uh, glute ham developer exercises, core exercises, uh, stretching, uh, band work. Just like that, I spend a full hour and a half on that once a week just doing that. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot for your time, Stan. We'll see you. I'll see you in the cage. I'll see you on the platform. And, uh, at Super Training in March, and uh, have a good time. Great, thanks for pushing me today. Oh, thanks for having me out here.